original the original DVD of this, which is of course now out of print and kind of hard to find. But here's the twenty the two disc twentieth anniversary edition of the Monster Squad. I really wish they would have kept the original cover because it was just awesome. But they give this new updated crappy cover. Well, it's not crappy, but I mean I just don't like it that much. I like the original better. Um, but my my friend has the original release of this, and he let me cop and I copied it. Uh, so I have a DVD-R DVD of this, of the DVD version of this. But, you know, I wanted to own a legit one here. So, you know, it has audio commentaries, um, Monster Squad Forever, a five-part five retrospective featuring interviews with a bunch of cool people, uh, a conversation with Frankenstein, uh, deleted scenes, the original theatrical trailer, and a TV spot, a still gallery. It's newly remastered, newly mastered in widescreen, and there will be digital audio 5.1. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. It came in the slip cover here. Not good. slip cover, which unfortunately it would have been cool if the slip cover wouldn't have been that. I wouldn't have cared if the slip cover was the new one, and they kept the original, which I think should have happened. But it's basically the same on the back thing. But the cool thing, one cool thing about it, was. There's the original cover art right there, and the one sheet art. See, I like that much better. I mean, it reminds me of the old school days. Um, a lot of people describe this as the Goonies, but with monsters and stuff like that, which is kind of true. It's 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 a good movie. I didn't even I didn't watch this as a kid though, like some, most people did. Uh, I only discovered this a few years ago, but it's got two discs. One with Dracula there. And then one with the main guy holding the lantern up, like on the cover. So yeah, um, like I said, I didn't know about this as a kid. I, I just knew about it. I found out about it a couple of years ago. But it is definitely a good movie. I, you should definitely pick it up. Especially the two-disc thing with all the nifty special features. And that was only $10 on sale at Target. And so was Sin City here. Um, next up, everyone... Oh, yeah, let's do this one real quick. And this one here, The Descent... It says ninety nine nine, but I got this at Best Buy. It was three dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, and so yep, I saw this in theaters. It it was good. Um, let's see, what kind of bonus features does it have? Okay, so there's I don't feel like you know. Need the scenes and Sunday. Yeah, okay, this is the one I was thinking about. Um, I went to see this in theaters and I, it was all right. This is the original unrated. And then I got on the internet, of course, like I always do, and posted a review on a website, um, and found out that the um, that this had come out in the UK. Well, I knew that it was coming out in the UK first, but um, the Americans got a different ending. So of course I hit up YouTube, and I watched the original British ending or the ones that played in other countries, and I was like, hell yeah, that ending is so much better. What kind of pussy ending was in America? In America. Oh, I don't really want to give away the ending in case you've never seen seen it, but the reason they said that is because Amer the Ameri American market likes a, a more happier ending. I'll just say that the the way you look at it is the American ending had the happy ending, and the other ending had the good ending, which I guess obviously will be not the happy one, if you will. But also it has right here descending. I'm guessing that that's the original ending. Or the alternate ending, if you will. But it's a good movie. If you like horror movies, you definitely check it out. You know, it's about um, six women who meet up and they want to go. I don't know. Um, would you call it splunking? I think splunking is where you go into caves. But anyway, where they uh, were a couple, two of them I think are like experienced cave cave women that go down and you know scale the go down in the caves and scale it and stuff. And the rest are just along for the ride. And she says that. And one of them tells them that they're going to this one cave, when really it's a new cave that hasn't been explored. And when they get down there, they meet these monster-type peoples. And it's a decent movie, but definitely check out the alter en alternate ending if you, if you get it, I think. And let me know which ending you liked better. Next, a bunch of people have been posting the $3 DVDs from Big Lots that were on sale. So I decided to go to my Big Lots locally, and they had absolutely nothing. They didn't even have $3 DVDs. Um... The DVD selection sucked. I went there a couple months back, and they actually had a good selection, but I don't know what happened to it. So I went about to a place about 20 minutes away, to a big lot's 20 minutes away, and got the following $3, $3 ones.
but I got in it kind of late because it was, I mean, you could tell people I had just rummaged through that and left the remnants because they were just scattered everywhere, but this one has a Christian Slater in it, uh, Gil Bellows, and Estelle, Estella Warren, and some other guy, which I can't see at this moment. Uh, for $3, a big lot, it's called Pursued. Um, you know, I read the back, sounded interesting, I had never seen it or heard of it before, but I just decided to go ahead and, um, and grab it because it was, uh, $3. So, yeah, when it comes to thrills and suspense, this headhunter is making an offer you can't refuse. So, yeah, that was $3 at Big Lots. Haven't watched it yet. Pursued. Next up is, um, there's the people in it, I don't feel like, oh, Sarah Polly, really? Um, don't come a knocking. Uh, three dollars at Big Lots. It won some, some awards there. And uh, I read the back. It sounded decent enough. And for three dollars, I just decided to go ahead and grab it. Special features, you know, there's not that many, but Sundance feature ad, things like that. But it's rated R for language of brief nudity. Um, but yeah, that's don't come knocking. Sony Pictures, classic pictures. Um, yeah, I saw a bunch of people got that in their updates, too, from Big Lots. Next up is, recently you saw my, well, in this video earlier, you saw that I had Wild Things on Blu-ray. And so, I saw Wild Things 2 there. Uh, you'll never guess what's beneath the surface, yada yada. Basically, this is probably just a knockoff, pretty crappy movie, although it has Isaiah Washington, who was, and was, I say, in uh, Grey's Anatomy, which is which is a show I watch. Um, but you know this is probably just an excuse. It went straight to DVD, so it's probably just bad, probably a bad plot, uh, not that good, and just a TNA fest, really. It's probably what it is, but for $3, I decided to go ahead and, and, and give it a shot. Special features are Making the Glades, The Making of Wild Things 2, and the bonus trailers, so... Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The first one was actually good. This one is probably direct to DVD crap. But for $3, I just said, what the hell, let's go for it. Next up, 3 bucks again, is um, The Woods. Private School Deadly Lessons. Um, I read this. It sounded decent enough. Plus, it's $3. I mean, there wasn't that much to choose from left. You really can't see anything because of the light in here. And the redness of the text. But... Um, holy cow, you can't even, even, I mean, that text, you, you just, you can't read it. That's kind of awkward. But, you know, at least they made this text white. But the credits, you just can't read. It's kind of hard to read, but, uh, this is sounded, uh, decent enough. Plus, it's a horror movie, and it's $3, so, I grabbed it real quick. I had a couple of these. But I really wish I had went when I first heard about it because it looked like there was a ton more movies to get. Um, I'm going to go to a, a place, pretty much uh, another big lot to, to check it out. It's about 30 minutes away. But, la okay, I'm going to show you this movie. I don't want you to watch it. I don't want you to get it unless you're a completist like myself. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. I hate this movie. I really hate this movie. It's nothing against Renee Zellweger or Matthew McConaughey. Um, I had this on v I got this on VHS and I was like, oh crap when I watched it. It's uh, on the VHS. I I've never seen the DVD with this cover. It's kind of weird, but the DVD usually has like uh, Leatherface back here and then the chainsaw coming up right here. Um, this one is just not good at all. I I mean I haven't watched it in so long, but I watches I watched it when I got it on VHS and no thank you. No, thank you. But I just got it to be complete because I have Text Chance of Massacre, Text Chance of Massacre 2, and I have the remake. Um, but I don't have this one. So, I don't even know if I will watch it. What kind of special features to have? Interactive menu, theatrical trailer. Ooh, it has a widescreen and full screen. That's kind of cool. But, yeah. I don't recommend this film at all. From what I remember. And now, that was like four or five years ago that I watched it. And it's just left that bad of an impression on me that I don't think I'll be watching it again. Unless I do some type of... Um, sometimes I do t uh, uh, movie marathons where you watch all the movies in a, in a series. 
and that's the only time I'll probably open that up and watch it. Otherwise, that's going to just stay sealed and go right next to the other TCMs to look good. But yeah, like for the um, for the uh, serious things, you know, like me and a bunch of friends will get together and we'll watch what's up there. Uh, the Friday the 13th series or Nightmare on Elm Street series or the dead film, Romero's Dead Films or something like that. Um, or Halloween's, which I only own Halloween one on DVD. Well, actually, on Blu-ray. The rest, I mean, I pretty much own them all on VHS. But yep, so that's the that's pretty much it for right now. So this is the DVD update out.